Y les ask people's opinions here. What do they think if Puerto Escondido is expensive or not expensive? Hola amiga, how are you? I have a quick, quick question for you. Yes. I'm doing a little YouTube video. People want to know if Puerto Escondido is expensive, so I thought I'd ask travelers, what do you think? I think it's a little expensive for Mexico. Cheap, really cheap. Really cheap? Yeah, really cheap, really cheap. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video from Eco Adventures, your friendly local guide, Haciel Peña. And I'm gonna answer one of the main questions, guys, that's been asked out there, and it's, is Puerto Escondido expensive? So, is Puerto Escondido expensive? And the honest answer is no. I don't think Puerto Escondido is expensive, especially if you compare it to like other cities like uh, Cancun, other tourist cities, you know, Baja California, Puerto Vallarta, even our neighbor, Huatulco, is like, it's about two hours away. Puerto Escondido is definitely more affordable. And yes, it's definitely a little bit more expensive than other local towns, like my hometown in Tututepec, where you can get like a, an electrolyte for 20 pesos. Here, usually it's around 25 pesos. So yeah, there are some differences, but nothing big um follow me and we're gonna go to via mosario macondo for an orange juice it's like almost 2 p.m and really beautiful here guys okay, unfortunately via mosario macondo is closed they close they open from 8 to 12. i like this spot because it's just quiet and calm and there's not that many people and it's Lovely, I enjoy it, but let's see where else we can go catch in orange juice, so. Okay, luckily, luckily for me, they have on the other side of Villa Mozart in Macondo, which is actually, Villa Mozart Macondo is a hotel as well, but uh, they also have juices here, so I might as well enjoy a juice at the spot that I've never been to. It's called Fruta Juice Bars. Okay, so I changed spots because I think the lighting is better on this side, and I ordered a ruby juice for 45 Mexican pesos right on the Rinconada Alley. Got my nice motorcycle parked right there and yeah more or less juices in puerto escondido are around that price so let's get ready guys on the main topic is puerto escondido expensive usually there are three things that we would consider right it would be lodging food and the third one would be things to do in puerto escondido and let's start with food food guys you'll find a whole diversity of food price that ranges from as low as like getting a sofa for like 10 pesos to you know going to one of the most exclusive restaurants which could be like Almoradu's restaurant which I've been there once and it's amazing they have really great food the service is, is great as well or um, Casona Esforza are two luxurious areas where the food's a little bit more expensive and then they also create sometimes like full uh, dinners you know with all their entries and that could range to around 2,500 pesos per person that's I think around $125 I think and well so there you go right depends on where you want to eat and regarding lodging guys I think lodging is very affordable in Puerto Escondido compared to other places I've seen some Airbnb uh, places for like 500 300 Mexican pesos a day and this is just my personal opinion from going around in Puerto Escondido you know it's definitely getting more popular and depending on the season lodging can be more expensive like if you look at like Villas Carrizalillo or Hotel Santa Fe by the way I got my juice guys look at that looks nice right so yeah where was that with lodging um, it varies as well, you know, you can stay at a Airbnb that's kind of in the outskirts or not even in the outskirts, just like in the city center for like 400 pesos. Or you can stay at Villas Carrizalillo for like 3000 pesos a night. And there's a whole line of really nice hotels. So it really varies, right? Regarding the next one, 
the last activity I was just walking towards to show you one of the beautiful sites in Puerto Escondido, it's called Swim Posible. And this place, guys, it's really magical. So with things to do, activities to do, I mean, you can go as priceless to just walk around and get to know the area, spend time in some of the viewpoints, go to the beach, you know, get a beer and enjoy it anywhere. Or, you know, you can always book a tour. We do tours, that's what we do. Pop up on one of our tours as well. If you wanna do an activity here, we have, you know, uh, our most affordable tour is our baby sea turtle release, but it's also one of the best activities that you can do. And we always, you know, try to give you the best experience, of course. That's your main objective, but we have other fun activities like visiting the outskirts, like the National Park of Chikawa, the zip lines uh, tour where we actually go to San Juan La Chao, a beautiful town, and so many other things to do, guys. Uh, let's go check out that Mirador, see if I can do some drone shots to add to this video and then just make it even cooler. And uh, yeah, man. Thank you so much for your opinion. Thank See you guys you. later. This is for Eco Adventures Puerto Escondido. Yep. Okay, so some Puerto Escondido. Awesome. Very good. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah.